Hello, good morning everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. And I was trying to find a Miss Priya. Good morning, Suzanne. Hi, Lisa. Good morning, Betty. Hi, Chris. Thank you so much for sharing, Chris. <laughs> trying to catch Priya before she disappeared into her <laughs> acre and a half oasis. <laughs> it looks like I caught her just in time and then she ran all the way over to the other side. She is such a goober. When I first pulled up she was laying beautifully in a beautiful spot and then her feeders came back around to pick up some scraps and it got her all excited so she followed them got out of the pretty spot and then I had to follow her into the abyss and then she just took off running so it looks like it's a great morning for games. Hi Jane, hi Dawn. What are you doing wild woman? That was very silly. Good morning Jen. Hi Claudia, good morning. Hey Nancy. Thank you guys for sharing this, tagging each other, alerting people that we are live. Are you playing games with me? Oh, what is that? <laughs> Good morning, Kathy. <laughs> oh, hi, Daniel. Good morning. We just got started. I have literally just been trying to find Priya. Good morning, Val. Hi, Connie. You always want to go through the one door that's closed, even though all the other doors are open. Hi, Mary. Hi, Cassie. Oh, is she going to go lay back in her spot? Yep, this is where she was earlier. And as soon as the feeders came by, she moved. And I wanted to show her here. Good morning, Lisa. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Marcy. Last couple of mornings, this has been her spot after breakfast. So she's changing up her spot. I love this view because she's got all these beautiful, like, purpley lavender flowers that are just weeds, but flowers nonetheless. <laughs> Hi, Bella. And then she has all these beautiful trees. Things are starting to get green again. I guess though, we're supposed to be getting a very cold, rainy weekend ahead of us. So I hope that doesn't hurt everything that's blooming right now, but we'll see. I'm definitely ready for the leaves to stop falling out of the trees. It gets warm, so everything buds and blooms, and then it gets cold and everything falls again. So that'll be nice when we just even out. Hi hey Judy, hi Robin. This is exactly where I wanted her to be. I just had to chase her all the way around first. Good morning Gina, hi Sharon. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for sharing this. This is Priya Tiger at Big Cat Rescue if you're just joining in. I wanted to start with Priya because hopefully everybody really has the Big Cat Public Safety Act in their mind at this point in time. And just how important it is to never ever pay to play with a cub to not support breeding in captivity because it does not serve any kind of conservation value. And you guys can help us put a stop to big cats having to spend their entire lives in cages simply by going to bigcatact.com. Of course, you have to be a U.S. citizen, but if you have U.S. citizen friends, it would be wonderful for you guys to please, please, please encourage everybody you know to contact their legislators and have them support the Big Cat Public Safety Act in honor of Priya especially. Priya was used uh, essentially like what you hear about for puppy mills, just constantly cranking out 
sickly puppies uh, as pets. It was the same with tigers. It was a tiger mill. Luckily it was shut down. We rescued five of those cats. The other four have all tragically died of different um, causes. A lot of them probably from the conditions that they were born and raised in. And when Priya arrived, she had about a 20 pound infection just making her miserable in her body and they did emergency surgery on her pretty much the next day and it took her months and months and months to recover and heal and finally have antibiotics that would um, work for her she was just in rough shape but you can see now she's doing wonderfully she'd look like a tiger in the wild if it wasn't for that giant red donut but we make sure all the cats have toys, so toys are always very brightly colored. <laughs> Not of nature, usually. Hi, pretty. Thank you for letting us enjoy this moment. So I'm sure there are a lot of people wondering about Coda. So while we've got Priya here in this beautiful moment, we don't get this kind of time with her usually, this kind of camera time. She usually goes off and hides or is in a, a den that's not so cute looking. So we're gonna hang here with her for as long as she'll let us. And as long as my knees will allow me to be crouching like this. But Coda is doing well. Um, she prefers to eat on her own at night. So they've been leaving food in her lockout. I've seen tons of photos on the Explore comment section about everybody getting to watch her eat. She likes to eat once everybody's clearing out for the night. <laughs> She's like, sure, you can watch me, but you can watch my backside. <laughs> stand up. Then I can stay a little longer. And so, um, other than that, she hasn't necessarily been roaring, charging, or growling at anybody. She's somewhat approaching Aaron and Afton, um, but very occasionally. And she'll sometimes take food from Tongs, but won't always eat it. She'll take it and then drop it on the ground. So she's been doing better eating just on her own. Um, she's been allowing her cleaners, which is just us staff members, to fully walk her enclosure and clean and do all those things. She's just still apprehensive, which is totally understandable. Tomorrow will be one week since she arrived and woke up in a transport cage here at Big Cat Rescue. You guys can learn about CODA at bigcatrescue.org slash CODA, K-O-D-A hyphen lioness. And I actually completely stayed away on Sunday and Monday. I never even walked over there. I just kind of watched her from the camera, just kind of learning her mannerisms and her behavior. And I yesterday started approaching her with a camera in hand because hello, that's 90% of the time that's probably how she's gonna see me, whether it's a phone and a stabilizer or um, a camera <laughs> so and I got my big zoom lens out which is kind of intimidating looking so I figure if I just start walking up to her with the more intimidating looking camera then by the time I'm ready to walk up with her up to her with something less um, it shouldn't be an issue but she when she sees me she just lays down um, basically where she is she does not approaching me yet but she's also not charging me. I still, knock on wood, have I think been the only one she hasn't roared at. <laughs> so I really want to keep that status. Um, but she just kind of lays down and watches me. And so yesterday I snapped a couple photos. Today I'm going to attempt the same thing. I'm just going to keep going up and letting her hear my voice. And I'm just not approaching her. I'm going to wait till she feels comfortable enough to approach on her own. So.
You guys might see me do lots of drive-bys where I just kind of show up, say hello. <laughs> Yo, feeding cart. I only get out of bed for a feeding cart. Even though she has already been fully fed, so don't let her fool you. <laughs> She's gonna walk straight to her feeding place. <laughs> you already ate. <laughs> She was in a dead sleep until she heard your cart. <laughs> You're so goofy. I'm gonna say hi to everybody real quick. Whoa. Oh, goodness. My goodness. So sandy. So sandy. Back to the only door that's closed. She can go out and then back in on that other side if she wants to, but goodness. Goodness. <laughs> this is why, even though we probably would all love to see Priya be like in a enclosure that does have like more of a camera presence, like obviously when she shifts over to where Duchess is, she's seen all the time, um, but there's nothing better than our welcome wagon that is Priya. Every morning when you first come in, she yells at everybody in food prep. All right, well, we know where Priya's gonna be the rest of the day. So it's just so nice having her as our little greeter. We've always had really special tigers up here at the front that are always the official volunteer welcomers. Obviously, Seth was my favorite, but we all have our favorites. So, I gotta tell you guys, I spent yesterday spring cleaning. I thought it'd make me feel better after some pretty significant recent losses and just a lot of stimulation, a lot, a lot of things happening around here lately. And I decided to spring clean my office and what that led to was also me making a brand new inventory list of everything that I have to do eBay auctions with because Gail, so a lot of you guys that have been with us for a long time know that Gail was our operations manager for many, many years. Miss Duchess. She is now our CFO, so she still works here. She's just not on property doing animal care. She's doing all the other stuff. Hi, Miss Dutch. Will you hang with us in a pretty spot so that I can tell my story? Oh, you have a very loud bird over here. Hi, honey. Let you get your introduction out of the way first. Let's see where she's gonna end up. And so Gail, a handful of months ago, went through her entire house. She's been decluttering and just getting organized. And she decided to clear out a bunch of her Big Cat Rescue items. So things from over the years like cage signs, paw prints, paw print impressions. Um, Let's see, oh, like uh, cat paintings, where the cats actually did the painting. Um, so she had a whole box full of things. She also has some really pretty um, framed and matted um, art prints of basically a bunch of different big cat species that are all cubs that are really cute. And she just said she's making a change and redecorating and doing some stuff. So she brought me all of these items and to be honest, I had just been feeling too sad to look through it because I knew it was going to be a lot of past cats. Um, having the rejuvenation of Miss Coda arriving last week, I just had this little, this little flutter in my heart. I was like, you know what? I want to look through that box. <laughs> I want to see what's in there. So I looked through it and there are some real gems from past cats in that, um, box so now i've got i think i have over a hundred items total so stuff from jamie stuff from gail stuff that we've made while we're in the um, hospital we usually make paw prints anytime a cat goes 
in for um, just a regular routine uh, medical exam or if they're under sedation a lot longer we usually have enough time to make some paw prints so that is what I did yesterday I compiled a brand new list and there are some really amazing old-school items um, so I'm going to be getting with Jamie to get photos and matted prints to go along with some of the like cage signs and I'm going to um, possibly ask Lauren to order cage signs for other items that I have. I can tell you guys right now that I'll just name some of the cats but I'm not going to tell you what the items are because what's the fun in that? So we'll be using these eBay auctions. Um, each month we'll be doing a couple items and then anytime we have a big event like our Wildcat Walkabout, virtual or in person, whatever happens this year, who knows, that's many, many months away. But um, we always do lots of special items towards the end of the year to fundraise for the cats. So I'm going to spread them out. I'm going to do a lot of current cat stuff and a lot of past cat stuff. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you that I have items from Hoover, from Seth, from Andy. I have a Priya Sharaka duo. I have a Saber Leopard. I have a Simba Leopard. I have stuff from all five sand cats. Um, gosh, I've got baby cakes trying to think now we've got um, I do have an item from Riza I've got an Aries Cougar item there's a lot a lot a lot so if you guys are interested in our auctions you guys can always sign up for our alerts I construct what the auction is going to be and then I send information to one of our staff members Katie and then she makes sure that anyone who signed up for our eBay auction alerts will get an email at least a day before if not the morning of an auction and you could do that at bigcatrescue.org slash auction. I don't have anything from Cameron Lyon but I can tell you I do have some Zabu items. Oh, that thing touched your foot. <laughs> oh my goodness. So if you don't have, and I will tell you, I have actually a lot of items from Seth. So he's one of the few cats where there's way more than just one chance to win something from him. So Thank you guys to everybody who's supported the eBay auctions. I started those in 2020 when we closed down to the public because of COVID and we still have not reopened to the general public. So that means that we are still trying to find unique ways to fundraise for the cats. And since eBay has been so successful, I'm gonna keep it going. Jamie makes special items occasionally. Victor has made special items. I can also tell you we're gonna have a couple different options again to win something with all three Texas Tigers. And we've got lots of stuff from past rehabs. So if you guys knew Alpha, if you guys knew Clover, we have Pia and Bankman coming up. We have, let's see, who else? Oh, I found a Flint. I thought we were all done with Flint and had no more Flints. We have a Flint. <laughs> so there's so, so much coming up, you guys. So while, of course, I knew it would make me sad, I also felt really excited because we're going to be able to share some of these items uh, with you guys. So, all right, let's go see. Joyce, I believe there is a Noel in there somewhere. Uh, Wendy Val is doing just fine. So she's been on a live 24 seven camera for everybody to see her and she's been eating just fine. 
She's not super active, but I probably wouldn't be either if I had spent the last six months to a year of my life just trying to survive. Um, <laughs> so she was already only using three legs, and of course she now only has three legs, so she is just getting it done. I don't really have any updates on any of the rehabs because everything's been just kind of maintaining, which is great. narrow through here so we're gonna stop here we're gonna pop over and see a nabisco and a flinster hi bud hi cutie no oh no that was very scary um i actually just recently auctioned Gilligan's paw print so we only had one and it went to a happy new owner. There's been a lot of good ones. We've we've had Max Tiger, we've had a bunch of Arias, we had a bunch of Amandas. If you guys remember our Wildcat walkabout then you remember that you can see he still has a red pole. They're still locked out of this den because they're still trying to tear that den apart. <laughs> um, if you guys remember the Wildcat Walkabout, we had Jasmine and Kali make paintings and we already auctioned Jasmine's painting and I do plan to auction Kali's painting. I know that Kali is still going to be scheduled for a vet visit, uh, I hope sometime this month. Um, because now she seems to be having some dental things along with her nails, but we're gonna bring in probably a specialist for that Which is common. We, we have done that a lot in the past, so that's nothing too crazy Mr. Biscuit Always love how little he looks on his giant platform <laughs> Uh, Kathy, I don't have exact updates on when Malaya will be released, but I know it is very, very soon. She is ready. And Kahira and Birdie are also ready. We're just waiting to um, coordinate with FWC to collar them and tag them and get them ready. You are right, Deb. <laughs> we never, we have not reopened to the public. So I remember Carol telling us in the very beginning that when we closed down to all of our specialty tours and regular tours that we were losing upwards to 160,000 a month in revenue for the cats. You guys definitely stepped up and helped us survive 2020 and 2021. Now that we're in 2022, still haven't reopened to the public. And now we've brought in a new rescue and not even a little cat, a lioness. We've also had the busiest rehab season we've ever had where every single cat has a million problems. <laughs> and yeah, now it's been a long time, but we will be having a tiger vet procedure and a specialist coming in for her, so. Yeah, lots and lots of expenses. And to top it all off, the same week that Val had her amputation surgery at the Humane Society and we rescued Coda the lioness, that's also when the AC went out in our recovery hospital. And Jamie popped in yesterday to tell me that it was $3,800 
to repair and fix whatever we needed in order to make sure that our recovery hospital is good and ready if we need it for any patients. So if you guys haven't recently, if you want to donate towards our maintenance fund or really donate towards any of those areas, rehab, vet care, or maintenance, you guys can do that at bigcatrescue.biz. You can go to shop categories, and then there's literally a, an icon for donations and fundraisers. And from there, you're gonna find all the different categories. There's a Miss Cricket. You guys can see that Miss Cricket had housekeeping. Everything's all raked and some new grass seed down. Hi, honey. But she's on the side that she must have been shifted into. So I bet housekeeping has to shift you and then come back, right? Oh, let's see. The stabilizer's acting crazy. There's a Miss Cricket. And of course, anything you guys ever donate here um, on our Facebook Lives, it's really, really appreciated. I have always kept track of all of my Facebook Lives and the revenue that comes in for the cats, and that goes to our general fund. You guys can see all this pollen just falling everywhere. Every day that I walk around out here and I go back to my office or I get home, I just have to like shake out my mane. <laughs> because it's just full of pollen. Everything's exploding down here. So this is Cricket Serval. Cricket's gonna be celebrating her 11 year rescue anniversary at the, I think it's this Friday. But since I'm not here on Fridays, I wanted to make sure we got some Cricket time. Cricket time. Did you bring your food over here? There's lots of flies. Or did Ginger bring her food over behind me? I can't tell. Tis the season as soon as it gets hot. Ginger's notorious for stashing her food for later. She's like the serval sized jasmine in that aspect. Anybody who wants to sponsor any of the cats for their birthdays, rescue anniversaries, or just for the heck of it, we posted the eight cats that are permanent residents that have the least amount of sponsors. Cricket's actually not technically on that list, but I know she has less than 25. You guys can also do that at bigcatrescue.biz. Did somebody stash food? I gotta turn around and see. Nope. Oh, but they're both just grooming. Ginger's over there. of after breakfast grooming. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna try a little special treat here for a second. This is gonna be our last cat. I am gonna go over to Coda and we're just gonna see how she acts. Not gonna get very close. Probably gonna be a whole lot of cage wire, but we gotta start building that truss. So, and that will be our last cat. If you missed any part of this, you can rewatch it at dailybigcat.com or right here on our Facebook page. I see a Moses. We actually checked in, I think it was Sunday, with all the cats that have recently moved around. 
people keep asking, why do you keep moving them? Well, I mean, if you were trapped in a cage your entire life, and, oh, there's a sneaky, sneaky second breakfast boy. There's Jinx. <laughs> Jinx you can see on a camera right now, and when he goes home, he has a brand new camera that's live now. If you had to spend your entire life in a cage when your natural instincts is to roam hundreds of square miles, find mates, hunt for food, do all of these things, going to a new enclosure can be kind of exciting. Sometimes their entire personality changes a little bit, which is awesome. And if it doesn't work out and they absolutely hate it, aka Gilligan, then they can be moved back or to another enclosure to see if that works. Of course, naturally, he was gonna have to move anyway because we were rescuing a lion, but they easily could have put him somewhere different. Instead, they were like, you know what? He really just kind of hated that. Let's not do that. Well, she left some chicken. Let's see where she went. She was in the stack corner earlier. Let's see if she went back up to the open air. She really does utilize every square inch of this enclosure, which is nice. There she is. Hi, Miss Lady. Look at you in that back corner. I have a photo that I took of her yesterday like that, and it's really, really cute. Hi, sweet girl. Let me come this way for a second, see if there's a better angle. I can say that this morning she saw vultures. I don't know if it's for the first time, but she certainly didn't love them. This better angle. Let's see if my phone will cooperate. That's a better angle. Hi, Miss Coda. Ooh, maybe. Hi, sweet lady. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. I'm so proud of you. You're so brave. Just so, so brave. So she has been eating, but she's been eating I mean, far less than what you would feed a lioness, but to be totally honest, she definitely is pretty overweight. And so we're hoping with all this activity and the slightly lesser diet, she's actually going to be doing pretty darn good as she transitions. Miss Coda! So beautiful! She's like, I'm just getting used to all the sounds. Yeah, squirrels are not her, her thing, but to be totally fair, squirrels around here are pretty spoiled and entitled, so... <laughs> I'm sure that does take some getting used to. You guys can see her on three different cameras, 24-7 at bigcatcams.com. You guys can keep an eye on my public Facebook page as well as our Instagram because I did take some photos of her yesterday and I'm going to start trying to get more and more and just visit her every day that I'm here and take photos and I'll be sharing those. I also, once I get them watermarked today, finally, 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 you guys are going to start seeing the 80s enrichment and Valentine's Day in Richmond. <laughs> I'm so sorry it took me so long, but hopefully today I'm gonna wrap up the editing and watermarking of all of those images. Well, of course you have to put a leaf in front of your face. I think the big difference, what's going to be interesting for me to bond with her is 
I'm not feeding her, like I'm not bringing her food or treats or any of that. Um, primarily Afton and Aaron will be doing that until probably they just realize they just don't have time and that they need to expand to other people. But at this point, um, there's really only two people that she's kind of associating with food. So I'm just going to have her associate me with nice calm talks, some photos, some silly stories. So everything that we know about her and can share with you guys is on her bio page, which you can find again on our website, bigcatrescue.org slash coda hyphen lioness. Um, we do have a couple former rehab squirrels that visit, but they visit out at the rehab hospital. I've never had any of them come on property and approach me. But, and they don't, like, it's definitely not like how they were when they were babies, where they would, like, sit on your shoulder or, like, take food from your hand. But they'll get fairly close to you. You can toss them a treat and then they just take it and run off. But you know, you know, you know that they, uh were raised there, so. Plus, you know me, I like to bond with the cats through enrichment. So as soon as I know that she's cleared for enrichment and what it is that we can offer her, what she might like, that'll be my jam. Try to move positions just slightly. Oh, what a good girl. What a very good girl. Well, I really, really appreciate any and all donations. Um, you guys know we have a ton going on around here on top of all the other everyday normal business. So we really couldn't do any of this without you guys. So really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys for joining me today, for sharing this, tagging each other, helping each other out in the comments. Make sure you spend time on our Facebook page, our Instagram, and our YouTube channels, as well as our main website. You won't miss a beat if you keep up with all those social channels. <laughs> I'm just really, like I said, I'm going to hold on to my title of the only staff member she hasn't roared at. All right. Thank you so much, lady. Very best girl. Tell them, say, if, if you guys donate, then that'll feed me for tomorrow's breakfast which for her is actually overnight dinner. Hey, I like breakfast for dinner, so I get it. All right, guys, have a great day. Have a, um, hopefully, I know a lot of people say it's snowing where you are, a sunny, <laughs> in your mind kind of a day. And I will see you guys again soon.